Do y'all know about these all is well types? I, I'm afraid that to a point I may be one of them. Um, the, the 9-11 commission or that show loose change or, uh, flight 93, whenever, or the moon landing, <laughs> whenever, um, people have presented ulterior arguments, um, I have to say, I'm, I'm one of those people that at first I actually default to the official story. You know, I haven't, I haven't read the 9-11 commission report and I can't speak to, as to whether or not the, um, uh, conspiracy types have, but, um, it's thick. <laughs> But a better example would be Ebola. Um, many of my friends on here have made videos about their concerns regarding Ebola. And my knee-jerk reaction to that was, well, well, heck, I mean, we got a CDC. Um, it's a fast burner. I'm, I'm sure everything will be fine. Now, the question I have for myself is, that a necessarily a correct approach to to subjects i mean is that is that truly trying to to understand what's really going on i i discovered that i had that that approach when all of a sudden i realized no matter what it was whenever somebody challenged the official story i automatically took up this, this opposition bias. And, um, I don't, I don't want to be that way. So I came to, I came to the conclusion that the only way that I could, they could that I could truly avoid, um, being ignorant was to recognize my bias first and foremost, and actually use that bias in a way as fuel to, to actually make challenging arguments, but now here's the trick, still listening to the opposition, you know, the, the dissenting point of view, which is important. You know, when you have, when you have some sort of a, a deviation, if you aren't listening to, to that dissenting point of view, you're not going to find the truth if that's really what you seek. And trust me, it's important. You know, you can't, you can't build a, you can't build a nation and you can't build a life on, on BS. It just doesn't work that way, you know? So I struggle to recognize those biases and, and hopefully overcome them. And then I share what I find with y'all. But to all you naysayers out there, the sky is never falling types. Just remember, a broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> oh, all right. I'll catch y'all later. It's just a little blurb. And uh, we'll get fired up here soon. Talk to y'all later.